What's up, YouTube? I'm just coming at you with a new deck profile. This is the one that, you know, I've been playing frequently. I was asked by Marshall to do this post because for the last couple of videos, you guys have seen Susano going at a couple of things. It went four out of five, which its only real tough matchup was Riviera at the time. Mm, I'm going to explain a couple of deck choices I've done. And if you are new to this channel, like and subscribe that button and give my boy Marshall some real good thumbs up. Without any further ado, let's get right into the list and I'll explain why I've chosen the tech choices I've chosen and the reasons why it's kind of hard to fit a lot of the new support in and it doesn't interact well because this is going to be a hybrid. Yes, that means we are going to be splashing these two together. It's the most consistent version I've tried and it works very well because the ride chain always guarantees your hand. If you have the pieces for the ride chain in your hand already, things get really, really good. So we'll start off with the grade three lineup. For the grade threes, you're obviously gonna wanna run four of your boy himself, Susano. Susano is a very good card. When on placed, it lets you look at top two. Take one, put on top, and the other one put on bottom. <clears throat> I've used this quite a lot. Honestly, even when they damage deny you, it still gives you a way of getting some sort of hits in there since Tsukiyomi and, well, OTT in general, always finds a way of wanting to stack its top of its deck to benefit itself. And it's second skill, which is good even on first ride, preferably best on second ride because your first ride usually wants to be her. But your first ride, you'd go, okay, if you got stuck with him, you'd go call, counter blast, soul blast one, look at top two, reveal them first, then put them in your hand, then activate all trigger effects. So if you have a grade three under him, that's why we ride this one first, you get to do it with the top three. So you get really, it's like an essential, it's a five drive check because you do get to add the cards to your hand. Next, I play four of your girl himself, Tsukiyomi. Tsukiyomi's engine is very, very consistent and very relying. If you open up the ride chain, you can ride these cards for free while looking at the top five of your cards and grabbing your combo pieces. So if you need to find your Silent Toms, your Deer plays, making all that live. So when you go to your Tsuki, um, Susano play, you're not only going to get five drive checks, but once you do his effect revealing top three, say for example, you hit a critical, you can hit a crit, putting a crit on him and power to your rear. Then revealing Deer. Deer's effect lets you stack the other top two. Top two is going to resolve, doing his drive checks as normal, swinging out. And now you have a crit on everything, and it's swinging for gross, gross numbers. And it's it's pretty overwhelming. Not to mention, she lets you set up your hands, thanks to, you know, having these wonderful quick shields. Honestly, going second is great for this deck, because you could discard the card for a counter blast and draw two if your ride chain is perfectly there. Sometimes you don't even mind riding it for your second ride chain if the decks you're playing against are really slow. Gives you so much ways of revving up very fast, or even in the late game, it just riding on top of Susano gives you so much synergy afterwards that you just, your opponent has to really push to get through. And for the last grade threes, you're going two deers. I don't do any more than two deers because you have so many ways of finding this card. Your grade one finds this card. The Tsukiyomi ride chain literally lets you cycle your hand to get to this card. If you can't, if you look at top five and you can't find this card with Silent Tom, I don't know what deck you're playing. Starting off with the grade twos, we're obviously running for the Tsukiyomi girl himself. Um, she's really good. Obviously, she's just a ride chain, set up your hand. And if she's on Vanguard and you have the Tsukiyomi ride chain going off, she gains plus three. So she's hitting, if, as long as she swings at the Vanguard, for 12 base stats, which that's really great. Um, also going off on the other grade twos, we're going to go off with Silent Tom. Obviously, he's your one of your win cons. Yes, I mean one of your win cons because you like to intangent this card a lot with another card that just came out. Obviously, he's Counter Blast, gains plus six, and his uh, restriction is your opponent can't guard with anything except non-regular units. So she's got to use either your Sentinel triggers, your triggers itself, or if you're playing against a Protect deck, it's Protects. So he's one of your win cons. The second one I've been testing out is two of the new one. Um, he is just a really aggressive, better version of Silent Tom, in my opinion, but I still think Silent Tom's better. I feel like you have so many ways of getting to this card, and Silent Tom just does enough to where you only need to run two of this card. Its ability is just Counter Blast when it attacks, reveal the top card. Whatever the top card is, is what your opponent can guard with. So, say for example, if you reveal uh, a regular unit, he can only guard regular units for this guy's attack. And if it's a trigger, he can only guard with triggers for his attack. So if you do the whole deer play and your next reveal for his attack is a regular unit, you're hitting him for three crits, almost 80,000 damage, and he's forced to guard with regular units. So if he's at three, this is a very early kill game. And going into the grade ones, obviously your girl herself, Sukiyomi grade one. She's your biggest starting piece. 
She helps cycle up to start the ride chains, get your draw set up, get your bottom deck set up so you can set up your um, late game pressures because you know where all your triggers are at the bottom of the deck. And the new grade one, which I really like. Um, his ability is, is when placed, look at top five. Look for a grade three, any grade three, as long as it's a grade three, add it to your hand and then discard. And his second ability is, is this card gains plus five every time you reveal a card off of a card effect. So if you go Susano with this in your back row, this card gains its own plus five on its own, making it a solid, I'd have to say plus 13, just swings at you, or I believe it's plus eight. Let me make sure. Nope, that was right, plus five. So it's a 13 base on its own swinging. So if you have this with Silent Tom boosting up, this is what makes the aggressive, aggressive columns. And that's why it's really good with this card in Tangent, because it reveals the top card when it swings, and you're just doing immense amount, immense, immense amount. The reason I say this deck is really good going turn four is because I still play the bunny. Bunny, you say, for example, if you ride Tsukiyomi and you have massive amount of grade three, that's why I like this grade one. You can shove the grade three in on your first grade three ride and draw another card. So your hand's utilizing what it needs to while filling up your soul. So when you ride Susano the next turn, you can do Susano skill plus deer, which I put deer in the back here. Then I go Tom, the other new supporter, which is the grade two and the two boosters. You're hitting for massive amount of lethal, and you're doing deer turn four, which it's it's really aggressive. And since everyone builds up a lot of hand, it's it's big pressure, and it lets you keep doing Tom uh, silent Tom and deer shenanigans for as long as you can. This list I only do two tetras. Tetra is really good because I am playing twelve crits. I'm playing no draw PGs because one, this deck draws excessively a lot, and two, you generate your own draw PGs. So I mean. You really don't need it so she just allows you to take these nice little crits shuffle them back up on the top of the deck get a new card and reutilize your card again putting massive amount of pressure on your opponent and for the trigger lineup obviously the four heals greats um i'm playing the new sentinel triggers which is the crit triggers they're 30k shields which are really good it helps you guard against big numbers without having to discard cards for the pgs so it takes a lot of pressure off your hand as well and the regular tr triggers, which is just a solid. Very aggressive, very pushful, and it pushes for game very, very fast. Um, I didn't play any of the new grade 3s because, yes, revealing the top cards, nice, gaining plus 10 for free is good, but this deck has no problem revving up power or hand. And you're very aggressive. I feel like these two intention together are hybrids, and the hybrid works very successfully. Um, I do play both Protect 1 and 2 because there are matchups where unfortunately you do need protect too like say for example when i was playing against one of my videos i believe it was hunter who was playing nubatamas i went protect two because he was going to drop down my hand as it is and i'd rather use my shield value as best as i can so i'll put it here not only that if people want to always attack the silent tom that makes it a base status of 14 so silent tom you're gonna either have to boost or hit a trigger and obviously the four protects you're you don't need any more than that. You're going to be discarding them if you're playing against Bermuda, which is quite a bit. Um, Riviere is probably the only deck I probably say I have a stressful time with this deck, only because they synergize very fast. It was it was hard to fight off, only because multiple attacks to restand doesn't do favor to this. I played a lot of Excel matches and had a good time with it. It's just Riviere keeps restanding with too much of big power, and you really can't do too much against that. All in all. I'd say that's the only biggest flaw I have with this deck. Um, again, if you like the video and you want more content, I can gladly keep working on this. Um, again, I'm testing new lists. This is just the most consistent one I've done so far. And again, if you're new to the channel, like, subscribe. Give this nice person who does your video content those likes and thumbs up. And I'm pretty sure he'll give you more deck profiles. Enjoy.